Ok. Apparently, you can only broadcast yourself on uh, YouTube if you say what YouTube wants you to say. Or if you say what the mainstream media wants you to say. And we all know I'm not going to do that. And I said this a million times that I'm not going to jeopardize this channel and keep posting on it. But then I keep po but then I kept posting on it. And then you see where it's led me so far. So I'm going to give you two links in the description box. The first link is where I'm posting at now. Going back to the uh, hour to time broadcasting order. Uh, and then the second one is just me running my mouth like I'm doing right now. Um, I don't know how I made it this far. Somebody made a comment <laughs> the other day saying, I'm surprised you made it this far. And I'm not going to make it any further than this if I keep doing this on this channel. Because this is the largest channel that I have as far as subscribers go. And you all know I don't care about subscribers, but why keep jeopardizing this? I've been trying to tell people this over and over again. They didn't get it. And a lot of people say, go to bitch you, but you guys don't understand it's not the same. Everybody and their mama has YouTube. A lot of people today haven't even heard of bitch you. Also, you can't play the things on YouTube. Or you can't play you you can't play bitch you in the background while you're listening to YouTube. Well, I mean, if you can, I don't know about it. If, hey, if you can, somebody send me that link to where I can do that at. I've been working a lot lately and saving money. I'm about to buy, try to save up and buy some land, buy me a little RV, and then just chill and do what I'm doing now. Hopefully in that RV, I'll get some kind of connection where I can get my laptop back up and go live. But I want you guys to understand that I'm not, I, I can't keep posting here. This will literally be my last video for at least a half a year or a year because that's the only way I can outweigh the strike the uh, strikes that they're giving me right now that I've already have and I'm on my second one third one I'm gone I can't stress that enough I have like seven backup channels this is also the last time I'm going to get a chance to say this check the featured channels if you want to see my other channels check the playlist if you want to uh, see a subject that you want to know about. If you want me to create a playlist of a subject that you want to know about. That may not already be, uh, have been created. To, uh, tell me what subject it is and I'll make a playlist of it. But check the playlist first before you do that. Another thing is I'm not taking the bull crap anymore. I'm not taking you whiny wannabe adults who who act like because I'm younger, because I'm 33, that, that that means that you know something about Bill Cooper that I don't. And I'm not trying to say I know everything about Bill Cooper. But I, don't, I, I respond to people accordingly. If you don't know my past history with somebody that I'm responding to or why I'm responding to them, it's best that you keep your mouth shut because I'm going to respond to you the same way because I'm sick of the bullshit. In this world. And I'm sick of people like you. Who think we have to be all nice to everybody. You should know this by now about me. If you don't, get the hell off the channel. And all my other channels that you're subscribed to that you don't know are mine. It is a shame that I'm this young and I have to talk to you like you're a child. It really is a shame. Just like I have to talk to people in my everyday life who are way older than me like they are children. After I understand that they don't get what's going on in the world today. And they don't understand why I say what I say and they want me to convert to main, the mainstream media religion. Or what their DLC is telling them. If some of you want to know why I spell sometimes a lot in my videos, it's because of censorship. I should have spelled in a whole bunch of my past videos. And I probably wouldn't have got censored, eh? I don't care anymore. Point blank, period. 
I don't care what you have to say when you're ignorant. I don't care about your emotions when you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't care when you get mad when I talk about one of your little new age fake guru uh, priest and their new age religion preaching to the world because you're too slow to understand the things that I've been saying over and over and over again for the past eight years now. So that means I was what? I was like, what, 27? Or what, 25 when I started this? <clears throat> and if you, don't think, uh, if you don't think eight years is enough for your bull crap, I don't know what to tell you. You're probably somebody who'll get into, a, no offense if this is you right now, you need to get out of it. But you're somebody who will be in an abusive relationship for eight years and then still not and still wonder what's going on. Get out of the relationship. You and me, if you're mad about what I say and how I do in my style, get out of the relationship. And for all of those of you and for all of you who think that <clears throat> you didn't expect because of how I look, how I talk and how I am being me, being real. You didn't expect uh, me to be the one running these Bill Cooper channels. Well, guess what? I didn't expect it either. I expected <clears throat> to be living off of my talents right now, making money off people's parents. By holding their children back by doing tumbling private lessons. Well, I wouldn't expect that. But that's what a lot of my friends are doing now. And I expected to do that truthfully, making privates or whatever. But you can't tell the truth to people, parents, children, or anybody now today without somebody who thinks they're somebody taking away from what you're doing and what you're trying to say because they want a little cult following. And they think that they, and they think if they say all the right things and do all the right things, they can rob everybody of their money. That's not me. I don't care about uh, money. If you want to donate to the channel, because some people have been asking, I gave you an option. It's on the about section. I'm not even going to say what that option is. I'll let you listen to that video because there are a lot of crybabies who have a problem with me talking about, you know, there's a donation option for those of you who keep asking. It's there in the about section. I don't need your money. I work every damn day. I just got off a couple hours ago, started at eight o'clock, literally got off at five o'clock, but I went to Lowe's because they got a delicious hot bar, went there and ate, and now I'm back in my car doing what I did again, even though I want to give up on a lot of these people because I don't give a damn what they know or what they, because uh, they, because people always want to act like they know something until you tell them the truth and then they don't want to know about it anymore. <laughs> I'm sick of this world. If I was suicidal, I would have killed myself a long time ago. But my uh, brother took that way out and I'm not taking that way out. Some of you might have family members that have taken that way out. But I would never take that way out. I would rather the world kill itself before I kill myself. And if it's me versus the world, then that's what it is. The first link <clears throat> that I'm going to offer you guys is the <clears throat> channel that I'll be posting at mainly. The second one will be the channel that if that channel goes down or any of my other channel goes down, goes down because I don't have any strikes on it. That'll be the second channel that you guys can go to and figure out or or if you want to know or you want to figure out what I'm doing or where I'm doing, um, where I'm going to what I'm going to be doing. That channel is just for me. The second link will be the channel of me just running my mouth. It's just like I'm doing now. I can't do anything more with this channel. Or it's over for the entire channel. I don't even know why I came back after my second strike. Uh, after my um, first strike. For all of those of you, or for the uh, for those of you who are actually suffering in this struggle, in the real, 
And I hate using this word because it's so played out and a lot of people call themselves truthers or not truthers and they can't stand the truth. For those of you who are struggling for speaking your truth and standing your ground and trying to protect your rights and remembering that we actually have a constitution, even though a lot of these people today think that it's outdated and it doesn't mean anything. And now all of us who say this are anti-government or anti-whatever uh, and we're just anti-bullshit. You're the only people I care about in reaching now because I tried reaching all of the people who want to be smart, who want to be intelligent because they watch TV all day. Let, let's not even get repetitive. And for those of you who let me go because I made a personal choice to do something and those of you who are probably going <clears> to... <throat> who are uh, associates of some of my friends who I know listen to these channels and uh, probably done let them listen to me talking crap about them or not necessarily not talking crap about them, telling the truth about them. You go ahead and you pass that. You, you go ahead and hear me now. Because if you think I've, uh, I, 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 I've, I'm, I'm uh, going to stop, I've just gotten started. If you think I was a loud mouth before and you didn't want me in your business because I told the truth, even though I was the most uh, experienced person you had, you're going to hear worse than what you heard before. And I'm sorry for any of you parents who have come here, but I try to teach your children the truth. I try to, and I need not, not in anything with this political stuff and this MASK crap or anything like that, but I try to be a good coach for them. But your owners don't want good coaches. They want obedient coaches who will do whatever they say because the government tells them that they have to do things that they don't. That's why I lost my position at that facility. And to... Uh, those of you who I know, who know my friends who are going to pass this on, who listen in the shadows and don't say anything, but you want to know so much about what's really going on in the world. But when I tell you, you can't stomach it. I want you to know. You haven't heard the last of me either. I may be struggling to do what I'm doing, but hey, I'm getting by and trust and believe that I'm going to grow with what I'm doing. And I don't care what you tell people about me and how much you want to lie on me and say I'm doing what you're doing, which is building cult followings and trying to get everybody to listen to you instead of telling them the truth because you're as ignorant as everybody who listens to mainstream media. I want you to know, go ahead and pass them on to this. I mean, go ahead and pass this video on to them. Those of you who are listening in the shadows. Because it won't stop. I'll continue to grow and you continue to do what you're doing and use people and lie to people and try to get them to believe that you're God almighty while I continue doing what I'm doing. And we'll see what happens if I we'll see when this is all said and done. Who's going to come out on top, even if I die or even if I get whatever is going to happen, it doesn't matter. I want you to remember this message and know that I did the right thing. And all you did was do what you did because you wanted to do it for yourself. And it, had, it didn't have anything to do about you loving God or you being a, uh, you wanting to help people and children and stuff like that. It had everything to do with you wanting everybody to think that you were God Almighty yourself. Well, guess what? I don't care what if people think that I'm that. Only thing I care about is, is if people get a fair chance to hear unbiased truths. So they can make the decision to do uh, with it whatever they want and do what they want to do in life. And they can either conform or they can rise. They can stand up and rise. Other than that, uh, I love everybody else. Hey, 
Subscribe to Behold the Truth. Subscribe to 1984 Veritas. That's my homeboy. Uh, go to Behold the Messenger's uh, website. And uh, congratulate 1984 Veritas because he just got married. I should have. Uh, I wanted to start that off. My home, Oh, man. That, when I saw that, it was deja vu because I don't know if it was a dream. And I feel like I saw that before. But my man, 1984 Veritas, just got married, y'all. Or he's or he got engaged and he pro he proposed. Wowzers. <laughs> man. Keep on keeping on, brother. My man is Caucasian. I'm half Caucasian, so I'm not trying to be racist here or anything like that. But he into them sisters, my nigga. My nigga into them sound display. <laughs> I knew you was a brother from another mother. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, but the rest of y'all, this is it. This is the last take. This is the last video. I know I said there's a bunch, but I can't do it anymore without getting without getting in trouble by the censor guys. But best believe you go to my other channels. I'm about to cut loose because I only got a couple strikes on those or maybe one strike or whatever. But don't. Some of you keep coming here and saying, you know, where are you at? Where are you? Do you have backup channels and you so and so and so? That's why I'm doing this last video so you guys can know. Now, if you don't listen to it all the way through to know what's going on with me and know what's going on, please stop asking me where you can find me and where you can whatever when I say it in every single video in case this channel goes down. I've said it so many times. There are multiple places that you can find me or find Cooper's work and find me doing the same energy I'm doing here or was doing here. There. This is it. I'm trying to make sure I say everything because I know some of you guys don't know, but I know and truly know that this is it. So I'm trying to make sure I cover all the bases before I get off here. Um, I'm still me till they kill me and there won't be, cha there won't be any changing. You know how mad it made me when they did that, that last thing? I couldn't wait to get back on here and tell y'all what happened. I couldn't wait to get back on here and regulate. For everybody who were thinking they knew what they were talking about. Or judging me and thinking they know what I'm about and what I'm doing. I said over and over again, any of you want to step up and test me, you can't hang with me. You either roll with me or you're going to get your ass rolled over. And if you don't like it, I'm not like this cancel culture and everybody else and, you know, thinking somebody has to be nice to you or whatever. I don't give a shit what you like. I'm sick of you just like I'm sick of everybody else in this world who continues to be fake. Instead of saying what's really on their mind. I'm sick of being in these mental chains where I can't even say anything without getting censored. I can't even say anything without hurting somebody's little simpleton ass feelings. I don't know how many times I've told you this, but whatever, because you don't seem to get it. I don't think you'll I, I don't think you'll ever get it. Until me or until me and, and people like me are dead and gone for what we're doing. And you're still here dying inside over and over and over and over again. Because you want to know, well, we can do to fix it and so and so and so. But you are still complying to stuff that you didn't have to comply to. And you were still ignorant. And you didn't want to stand up to people who call themselves judges, lawyers, lawmakers and all this other stuff. Doing stuff that's not saying stuff on a television set that's not true. Passing it off and you just sit there and you allow it and you comment on it. If they make something um, mandatory that they can't make mandatory, that they're doing now. That's how you know none of these networks are for you. If 
What do you mean if? There is no if. You cannot do it. How slow in the head, fake ass type of American do you have to be to not understand that they cannot do that? And you're just, just going around. Bah. If they do it, I don't know what I'm going to do. Bah. If they do it, if there is no if. If you knew what the hell you were talking about. If you knew they couldn't do it. You might be a smart person. You might be as smart of a person as you want everybody to believe you are. And as educated and up to date because you're sitting in front of your television set and do your brainwashed all day long. You, you, maybe you'll be as smart as you want as you play the field to be. You know, Cooper, I'll end on this note. Cooper said, uh, today's man, God uh, type zombie people. He didn't say it exactly like that, but I'm putting my own little thing here. He said, today's man. Thinks that he's way too smart to believe that he could ever be mind controlled by uh, mass media hypnosis. And I'm not quoting exactly what he said. And then he says, it's funny because these are the people who are the most brainwashed and brain dead. Exactly. Uh, again, this is not an exact quote. You're not as smart as you want to as you, as you want everybody to think you are. You're not as smart as you want to be. You're still passing off this fake truth or information. This and you're still listening to the news channel and all this stuff and you think you're smart? And you think that you can't be you think that mass media doesn't have anything to do with hypnosis and brainwashing? You are an idiot. You're still, you want to talk about critical rate, you know, theory and all this other stuff. You are an idiot because that doesn't have anything to do with what's controlling and leading the world into the new, I almost slept, into the leading the world by this agenda. Let's put it like that. It doesn't have anything to do with it. All you people who are arguing these little issues, who think that you're so smart and you have a point, you hear a little, uh, you hear a little uh, short clip or a long clip. It don't matter or a news clip about somebody uh, smashing the critical rate, you know, the rest of it and all that stuff. You are the most retarded people on the face of the earth because none of that stuff has anything to do with what's really going on with the world and why, what they're shaping the world into being. None of that stuff has anything to do with it. These things are talked about and blown up, which I don't understand how you don't know this by now. Because they are being used to control you, to sidetrack you into what's really going on. Into what they're really trying to lead you into. All of this, my president, this president, all of that stuff is just as retarded as the critical you-know-what theory. I got a question. For all you people who think, oh, we do a recount and so and so and so, if your vote doesn't count and only the electoral college uh, vote counts, what the hell is a recount going to do? You probably can't even grasp the simpleness of that statement right there. Nothing. Because it doesn't have anything to do with the recount. It has everything to do with a distraction, a sideshow, a circus act, a freak show. You people need help, serious mental help, and not from one of their doctors or just uh, who are 20 times as crazy as you are, but you need some kind of mental help that I don't know if I can provide or if anybody else in this entire on this entire planet can provide, but you need some mental help. Nobody cares about you. No president, no Maybe he can come back and be president. No politician, no celebrity. None of them care about you. Point blank, period. Just like you don't care about anybody but yourself. That's why when you say you were doing all this for somebody's S-A-F-E-T-Y. 
Only reason why you were saying that is because you were worried about your own S-A-F-E-T-Y. Petrified, terrified by your political television set terrorists. And you didn't want to catch something because you were that scared. You were just shaking in your little boots. That's why you recycled that stupid line saying you want to keep everybody S-A-F-E. That's the only reason why you recycled that. It didn't have anything to do with that's what you really wanted. You were a petrified, terrified sheeple. And how do you feel now that even you can even get the thing and you can still possibly catch the, you know. Again, I have to censor myself. How stupid do you feel now? You probably don't feel stupid. You probably feel that that makes sense, don't you? (laughs) Oh, this is going to violate YouTube's uh, terms and policies because I have an opinion and I decided to broadcast myself because they have community guidelines and if you violate those, you know, you might uh, upset somebody. (laughs) Let me end on that note before I get too far into this. Because I got to work again tomorrow. I know some of you clowns who think that I uh, do donations, even though I ain't made more than, what, $300 in the whole eight years I've been doing this or $500 in the whole eight years I've doing this. I know some of you don't know about that. But I like everybody who wants to stay, you know, and save, you know, I actually go out every single day, every single morning and work for what, I, what I'm doing and uh, what I got and what I'm saving up to get. I actually do that. No matter how hard my job is, I show up every day and go there because I don't need no handout. So the rest of y'all, I want you to know, I'm sorry. Because every time I blank on these clowns, I don't want y'all to think that I'm blanking on y'all because I love y'all. I love your support. I love um, all you people who are finally waking up and seeing what's going on in the world today. One more point I do want to make. I know I said I was going to end on this a long time ago. I usually say that and just keep talking. Um, When I uh, tell the truth or even when Cooper tells the truth about people, it's not somebody trying to pick on somebody or somebody thinking that Cooper knows everything and he's the only one who was in the show. This this is one simple uh, basic point I try to explain to somebody. But when you're a new ager, they don't get this. There is no proof, nor has there ever been any proof, that Cooper was a Mason. Or, uh, uh, and, and watch somebody and say, oh yeah, well, you said so and so and so. There is no proof. There will be nobody who can prove it. They'll just say he knew too much. That is the type of New Ager information. He knew too much. Because he wanted to figure out what was going on. I know uh, you people who have um, um, uh, brains understand that I've said this a million times. Oh, he just knew too much, so that makes him so and so and so and so. That's that new age of information. But he's dead. <clears throat> Their boyfriend, Alex Jones, is still alive. But he supposedly knows so much, and he's exposing these people, right? That's what I mean by it ain't me being mean to these people. It, 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 it's me telling you how stupid these people are. Him and uh, Ike and, Auto, and uh, Maxwell, a.k.a. Bill Coper. <laughs> Still alive Right But that's how much of a threat they are I want to explode some more But I can't Because I know I'll get in trouble So I probably should stop at that point I think I covered all the bases I didn't talk about the UFOs That the news is <laughs> Let's not even talk about that I think all you guys who are here Have enough sense to know now that if you still believe in all of this, that crap, but you can't prove it. That's the one. Oh, yeah. Let me finish my other point. There is proof that all of their boyfriends are shills and they've been exposed to shills. But see, they don't, they, they, they've been in love with this character their whole life. They don't believe that. They're, he's a character. You're some kind of stupid when you don't understand that there are things that can be proven about certain people. And there are things that can, cannot be proven about Cooper. And if you can't prove something about him, but the things can be proven about your boyfriends, what does that mean? That means that they're shills, liars, and maces, and so on, so on, so That doesn't mean that I love Cooper, dumbass. 
That means that until you can prove it, instead of getting your little emotions involved by these little celebrity characters you've grown up with, shut the hell up. Watch one of them still make a comment. Oh my God, but he told so much truth. He told me a little bit of truth. Uh, gotta, go, gotta love that little bit of truth. Told me a little bit of truth here. Told me a little bit of truth there. And now uh, I gotta love him because he woke me up. Even though he just stole everybody's information, I gotta give him credit for waking me up. <laughs> go. Take your ass back to Candyland and Sheepleville because you're, you're on the wrong channel here. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't say what was trending, did I? Oops. Lord, forgive me. I didn't say what was trending in Sheepleville. For all you real people out there, I'm out. Love y'all. Too deaf. I got the two links in the thing. If you want to know what's going on. If you don't, you can stay here and keep listening to the video. I'm not asking you to go there, but I'm telling you. So please don't ask again because this is the last video. So if anybody watches this, or if anybody is new here, anybody watches this, if you're new here, I'm sorry. You can't understand what's going on and why I'm like this and why I'm saying what I'm saying. But if you do want to understand, just go to, I have a playlist of my lives. I mean, not my lives, my, uh, my takes. And you can understand, you can see the progression over the years with these people who think that they know so much. And these people who try to lie on Cooper and try to lie on me about what I'm doing and what this channel is about. Because they don't know what's going on in the real world. They still live in La La Fantasy Land. Or with the little E.T. Cuckoo Lulu bullshit line. All right. And this is it. <laughs> huh. That felt good. Even though I'm pretty sure I have a lot more to say and I keep going. That felt good. It really did. I had to get it out there. And now I can just wait to see how long it's going to take them to take this channel down. How long it's going to take them to stalk me and report me and do what they got to do to get rid of me, even though they're not going to get rid of me. All they're going to do is piss me off. 